I am race ready. I don't know if you've noticed, there's a bit of a difference in me. Good morning, everybody. How are you? My leg is a million times better this morning. Um, just gonna keep icing and stuff and just see if it keeps getting better. I might not run today, but I might run today. I'll just see how it is. It's not that bad and it doesn't really affect my running. It's just sort of touch, which is obviously strange. Um, and obviously, as I said yesterday, everybody will say it's because I ran 100 miles last week. I didn't think so. I think I just strained it. I did something funny when I was doing my session on Monday. Um, the dog is wagging his tail against my leg, something chronic and wants to go outside. The baby is running around like a nutbag as always. And I will see you all in a second. All right, so not sore, not sore, not sore, not sore, not sore, sore. That's the only part of my whole leg just there, out there, that is sore. Not sore, not sore, not sore, not sore, not sore. Everything else is fine. Calf is fine. It's literally just this spot right here that is sore. <sighs> I'm sure I'll figure this out by the end of the day. I'm like an investigator, like CSI Achilles investigation. I don't know, but you know what I mean. You right? Doggy and Doggy pajamas. <laughs> Just loves Doggy. Oh look, wide and then normal. Anyway, back to Achilles investigations. I'll catch up all. I'll catch you all up in a second. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? So, legs feeling all right. We're gonna go for the old. 1080s because I think they've probably molded to my foot better. We're going to start off really light, just a light walk slash jog. If it gets any sort of pain or like, not pain, but like irritation, I will stop immediately and just call it a day. So we'll find out in a second. Join me in the chi that I was going to click and then do it, but you'll see in a sec. I'm just going to click again. Anyway, let's get running. Well, it's a no. It's just a bit tender and just a bit tight. I'm not that, like, it's just funny. Like, it would have to happen after I've just ran that 100 mile week. <sighs> I'll figure it out and I'll get back to you. I'm not negative. It's just one of them things. There's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you all inside where we'll have a coffee and a discussion. All right, so welcome to self-massage on a budget. So at the moment, I can't really afford to go to a sports masseur but I know that I have a tightness in here, in here, and a little bit on the other, on this side, um, which is causing like some inflammation and tension through here. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do is release this through trigger points and some massage technique that I have. I have this gel, this uh, oil that I found. Uh, it is uh, a warming DOMS, it's called. It's pretty good actually, I've used it quite a lot, um, but it just doesn't come out very quickly, so. A little bit annoying. Also, you might be able to see the line of the sock, <laughs> of the compression sock that I had on. So, what you want to do is you want to warm it up first. You just want to make sure that you're just nice, soft, but firm strokes over the muscle, and you're just making sure that you're warming it up. You don't want to be digging in to your calves or any sort of muscle without. Um, <clears throat> warming it out first. And I am not a medical professional. Um, this is just through years and years of running and self-preservation and and that. So I have a knot or like, you'll feel like the muscle will feel like, so it'll feel nice and soft up here, for example. And then when you get to a sore spot, it will feel sore obviously, but you will also notice that, like you see the muscle move I don't know if this camera picks up, but basically it'll be nice and smooth and then you'll get to the point where you've got a bit of a problem or a knot or something and it will like ping slightly. Um, your thumb will slow down, then speed up as you go over it. So like I've got a problem. So here feels like an issue, um, like right through here, feels like I've got some sort of pain, um, a tightness, which is all causing me to have 
a really sore Achilles and hence why it's in one point. It's not, it's literally like my sore Achilles is in here, which is sore, um, which is obviously coming from tightness through here, um, which is then overloading my Achilles, which is causing like a pinching uh, type of problem. So I'm gonna get on with this and then I will see you all after. I hope that makes sense, but that's basically what you wanna do. Just be nice and soft and you're in control. Don't go too hard. And if you do find uh, one last tip, if you do find like a trigger point, press it in 60 seconds, like 30 to 60 seconds, just hold it. You'll feel it tense up to start with and then it should start to ease off. Um, and just do that on a few of them. And that's how you self-preservate. I like preserve, preservate, I don't know. I'm also obviously coffee in hand. And that is a cue to stop while the washing machine has started. I will see you all in a second. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, I have, I am race ready. I don't know if you've noticed, there's a bit of a difference in me. Um, also found these glasses that I bought. They were like 15 pound off Amazon last year. They're amazing. They're like, obviously they're not gonna be polarized properly, but like, they're brilliant. The sun is shining, it is a beautiful day. And I, at the moment, am unable to run, which is very, very annoying. However, feel good and um, I've realized that there's a little knot in my calf that I didn't realize was there so I'm just trying to sort that out the baby is still quite unwell um, and I'm, I'm probably just gonna rest today but I tell you what I am gonna do I am gonna try and fix that bike uh, it is oh gone the wrong way it is right there how that that's me right here Oh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and fix that bike and see if I can make it uh, work properly because basically like the back tire ha keeps getting a puncture and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty. So I've got like a knot in here, like I said earlier, and then like the pain through like the weird like tension pain burning through here but it's easing up as the day goes on still no chance of running today anyway i'm gonna get back the dog is having the time of his life running around the garden i'm missing him there he is look at that first sunny day and he is loving it anyway i'm gonna go inside have a coffee well we've run out of milk so i'm not gonna have a coffee i'm gonna drink loads of warm water i'm just pointing this at nothing you can talk to my shadow there if you want oh yeah he's up so we've been trying to fix my bike but i bought this tire for my back of my back bike it's too thick, like it doesn't pass the frame. Anyway, the bike is out here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So I put the big thick one on the front, but basically it was too thick and it was like catching on the frame. But bike is fixed, so I can get on that tomorrow and I can do 20 miles, two, I can do nine. And basically I can just ride two from work now tomorrow because my ankle is swollen up. Uh, let's get back in the line. Well, basically this ankle is now swollen, as you can now see, compared to this ankle. I actually don't know if you can see, but you can actually see my ankle bone on this one, see? And on this one, it's just meat and gravy. A swell city. So, anyway, basically, this tire was too thick for the back of my bike, which I didn't realise was a thing because I'm a bike noob. Anyway, I'm going to go get in this hot bath and I will see you all in a second. I'm up some salts. I don't know if this really is showing it, but it is so swollen. Now, compared to that one, does it, can you see how swollen it is or not? In the comments put, yeah, it's swollen or no, it's not. Time for the best dinner ever. Bean burritos, we put butter beans in it tonight. We've got smashed avocado. We're gonna have some red, um, some Frank's red wing hot sauce. We've got vegan uh, smoky barbecue flavoring and white wraps, wipes. And best thing ever, uh, coffee cane today, so I'm gonna be off my note. But I can't wait for this. All right, it's been burrito time. One blew up, but time for some cherry aid and some bean burritos. Let's go. <sighs> what is up, ladies and gentlemen? So that is pretty much the day. Bean burritos, swollen ankle. I fixed my bike. And I'm ready to cycle tomorrow. Well, I hope I am. Hopefully it survives the night and the tires stay up. Um, but yeah, just gotta keep the fitness going. And if I can get on the bike and keep riding, I can only be happy about that because that'll be like 20 miles of riding tomorrow. Wow, 18 miles of riding tomorrow. And yeah, I'm just a bit gutted about my leg. I figured out what it is basically like, 
say this is my calf, like there's a spot in my calf, like rock quite high up that is like so sore. And I didn't know it was there. I did a little bit of self massage, like I was showing you earlier, and I found it and it was really tight. And every time I ease it off, it seems to like take the pain away from my lower leg. However, when I look down at my ankle, it is like it's huge. It's like I've been bit or something. It's literally like so swollen. Had a boiling hot bath and then I got out and I didn't feel any pain, which was amazing. Epsom salts probably helped a lot, but it's just one of them things that's running. Like there's no point getting annoyed, there's no point getting upset. It's my own fault. I did feel a slight twinge last week at some point in that part of my calf and I didn't think anything of it because it went away instantly but I should have stretched or gone and got a sports massage last week. That's something that I should have done definitely in the middle of the 100 mile week. I should have just gone and had my legs flushed out and relaxed down and stuff instead of just pushing on through. Um, so just lessons learned. Like I still hit 100 miles. I'm still proud of myself. I've still done 23 miles already this week. I don't know how I ran yesterday. Um, I genuinely don't know how I did six miles yesterday because afterwards I couldn't really walk. And then today when we were out walking with the dog and stuff, I was really struggling, like I was getting left behind, which I normally like, I'm beating it away. And then when I finished, I looked down at my leg and I thought, I'm looking at it now, for some reason you can't see it. Um, and I was like, it doesn't look right. And then when I got in, I was like, it's swollen. And then it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So you live and you learn. Oh well, I'm about to have my turmeric tea, watch this country on my iPad and edit this video up and I will see you all tomorrow. Like, subscribe. I should be running in a few days time, but I'm just going to take my time. Cycle, cross training is always just as good as running, as long as you don't let, as long as it just is, I don't know what I was trying to say. Anyway, I will see you all later. Like, subscribe and let's continue this journey on.